American angler, you're up with the sun, with the fish on your line, your day's just begun, American angler, on lake, sea, and stream, you're living the good life, catch the one of your dreams. Back to the wind No, they'll never believe this Black old American angler The thrill's all your own Hi, I'm Pat Trainer. This week on The American Angler We're headed south of the border To beautiful Port Adventures, Mexico our guest will be none other than the Mexican sportsman himself, Geronimo Jurgens. Port Adventures is located on the Yucatan Peninsula, about 80 miles south of Cancun. This area is known for its beautiful white beaches, world famous diving, its romantic sunsets, and most of all, its large numbers of game fish. Don't go away, we'll be right back from Port Adventures, Mexico. Welcome back. I'm here with our Captain Rick, and Rick, just before we get started fishing here, for someone that might be coming down for their first time to this area to either fish or just play or snorkel, what type of hints or suggestions would you have that might be helpful to someone? Okay, well, the, the first thing is the protection from the sun. Uh, the sun here, as oh. you'll see, is very intense, and you need a good sunblock, and if that doesn't work for you, you could bring some long sleeve shirt, you know, something you'd be comfortable in. Uh -huh. And there's like I say, not only the fishing, there's also uh, good snorkeling and diving and that kind of stuff. And suggest that you bring your own mask and snorkel. There's plenty of fins around and that kind of stuff, but your own mask that fits you good is, a, is an important thing. As far as the fishing and the tackle is concerned, we supply 15 pound, 20, 30, and 50. If you like to fish with something less than that, you need to bring it, or something heavier, you need to bring it, which is not a problem in Mexico. You can bring all the tackle you want. Well, really, you got these boats are well equipped and you pretty much got everything a man needs for a day's fishing out here but again this heat is pretty intense and the sun glare off of this water you really need to protect yourself down here. Right it, it will be and you'll, nothing ruins your vacation faster than to be sunburned and you can't wear clothes. Not to say point. that the heat's that tough I mean the fishing is too good to bass this up. <laughs> uh -huh. Well it sounds like Geronimo's getting impatient maybe we better get on the water and get after him. Huh? Okay let's get going. Alright let's do it. Well, we got you say they're running eight patterns out here? Yeah, we're running two teasers and six, they run six natural baits. We're running ballyhoo as our bait. Running four ballyhoo, <coughs> five, no, I got six out. Six ballyhoo out and then we have two teasers, one of those squids. Check it out, take a look at it. We just had our first strike in less yeah. than, we hadn't even put the baits out in less than three minutes. Yeah. The baits, they, the baits had not been out two minutes before our first sale came up. You know, the thing is the number of fish down here is tremendous. I mean, I tell you what, this area is so remote. You, you look out here, there's not a boat to be seen anywhere. The thing about that, for example, a 20 fish day here is very, very, very common. Look, you got teeth marks all over it. Yeah. Was it a sail, Oscar? Yeah. Yeah. This is fabulous. Absolutely I mean, I mean, fabulous. And the nice thing is you get up, you know, we, we've set baits out about 8.30 and 8.32 we had the first strike. Shoot, we're only what? About 150 yards yeah, offshore. Yeah, off the shore. And that big shelf laying in here, white sand beaches in there. I mean, it's gorgeous in here. The, they have beautiful oceans. They have, you know, the, the, the color of the water is fantastic. Get out of Oscar's way here and let him do his job. I'll tell you, our Captain Rick, uh, Rick is probably one of the best billfish captains there is. He's worked in the States for years, and it's just the best. I, I mean, uh, I'll fish with Rick above anybody else that I know. That's pretty evident. It didn't take three minutes I mean, to have a fish up. It helps the behavior being a good fishing drummer. He really does know what he's doing. 
you know, there's boats and something else about these boats. They don't seem to scare the fish, which is very nice. Some boats attract them and some scare them. But this one, you know, fish come right up to the boat up here and take the baits. These diesels are really quiet. They're, they're single engine and they're single engine diesel, so they, they're, they're quiet, but they give you a good, smooth ride. Just fantastic fishing boats. We got it. Got it. You got it. Hook up. Just hook. Really cool. Move over there. All right. Oh, you're coming to the... How's the sun? Rick? Okay. Okay. Right up there, right there, right there. See him? There over, he there, is. over there. Beautiful jump. Man, she took off. They really are beautiful fish, aren't they? Well, when so they get like out of the water like that. You know, the Atlantic, the Atlantic sailfish are a lot smaller, but they really put up a great fight, don't they? A lot more silver to them than the fish we catch out at Mazelon. That's right. They're, the thing about it, they're, you know, they're, for the size, you're fishing with lighter tackle, so it really makes it a lot more challenging. And you have a 50-pound fish on it, it feels like a, but you've got something a lot bigger. That's a good size sailfish. Boy, look at him, Greyhound. Coming to you. Coming right at us. Boy, he is, look at that. Man, he look, at him, look at him go. Look at him go. Boy, is he. Boy, he's active, huh? The beautiful fish. Oh, man. One of the things that we that you're doing, Pat, is it's very important, is, is to use, use the railing. You bend your knees, and what you're doing is perfect. You're using the railing to lean against. This, yes. is, this takes a lot of pressure off your back, and it really allows you to, to move with the movement of the boat. This padding on this railing is really nice on your knees, yeah. too. All, all, most good boats have it, and it's, it's just a lifesaver. The leader's right there. He's your fish. We got him coming. You're 15 feet away from him. Coming, coming up again. Coming up. There he is, right Coming here. Up. Stay with us, baby. We got this fish. He's right there. He's right here. Man, is he mad. Oh, look at him post right there. He said, I knew this dinner was going to be an experience, but nothing like no, no, this. Don't, don't, don't pull. Your left, left. Coming up. Coming up. There he is. Oh, man. Look at him shake that head. Looks like this one may have thrown his stomach up. Well, they do. And what, what it, all that is, it doesn't hurt the fish. All it is, it feels there's something wrong. Right. And they're trying to just empty it out. Uh, Ronnie. Put up a great battle. He did. I'll tell you what. He'll live to fight another day. Yeah, put all this back in. And fill it up with water. Kind of revive him a little bit. Yeah. See what? Boy, they are so pretty. Okay. See, now he's straightened out. He'll make it. He'll make it. He's fine. He swam down. There he goes. Very good. Congratulations. Yeah. Your first Atlantic sailfish. That was great. Aren't they beautiful fish? Yeah. You know what, Pat? They really fight, don't they? Oh, man. On that uh, spinning rod, man, you're you're ginning those deers in that uh, thing. I'll tell you, they're, they're great. Well, he fish. moved so fast there at first. Yeah. So that fish is young and frisky. I no, he may be old, but risky, but, you know, <laughs> but he's a good fighter. Yeah, he was. Okay, he well, was. let's catch some more. I'm ready. And don't leave us. We'll be right back. Well, look at him go. Man. No, it's a fail. Well, we got him going now. You're getting him, get him. 
We got a triple. We got a triple. Get down here. I think I lost this one. Good. Good. We got what we wanted out of them. Here. Lost that one, no problem. Okay, get, get over here. Get, 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 there's two double, double jumping up here. Look at this. Oh man! Look at them go. We got them all over the ocean. Mine, look at him go. He's just greyhounding. He's coming right at us. Look at this. Oh look man! At this. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. There's another one. Look at that. Look at him go. Come on up, baby. Come on up. He's coming up again. Oh, man. He's a little white marlin. Yeah, I got a little white. I got a white, and, you, and we had triple on sailfish and one white. We had four hey, get on at one time. Here. Get over here. Muevete, Oscar. Muevete, muevete, Oscar, por favor. Muevete, muevete. La cámara. Gracias. It's a nice little white, huh? It's pretty fair sized little grotto here. Look at it. Color in that fish. That'd be great, wouldn't it? Look at this. Oh, shit. Over here. Look at this jumping there. Look at that action over there. There's <coughs> too much going on, Geronimo. I love it. I love this stuff. You know, this This is This is almost not ah, fair. Ah, look at him. I thought this was a male. It's female, though. Get a dolphin in so I can get my marlin. Well, I had him in once. Well, just you know, just hang loose. We'll be right there. You know, uh, this is great. I've lost a sailfish. I have another marlin on, and you got a dorado. And I'm playing with this dorado. And, and we've had two more, two more sailfish that we didn't know what to do with. There was a sail running out the back. I thought it was hooked up. It was hooked up. I lost it. Then another two hit. Okay, just bring him in. Yeah, because we're gonna lose this marlin otherwise. You ready to get him? You ready? Okay, move, move, move behind me, Pat. There you go. A little female. You gonna gas this fish? Yeah, bring him in. Uh -oh. He might have. Yeah, he did. That's a, that's a boat. I'll be darn. You're gonna jump in the boat. We played around. All right. He's still that's a little green. We blew the marlin. We'll get another one. Yeah. That was too bad. But it was too good almost to believe. Well, yeah, I mean, too many fish at one time, but I'd love to have seen that white marlin at the boat. Oh, look at, we're we gonna, actually, we're gonna do a slam today. I think a fish is about to kill our camera guy. We got tonight's dinner flopping around there in that bait box. Hey, is this great or what, now? When I tell you, I have. Earthquake, earthquake. I'm gonna tell you, when I tell you, when I invite you fishing, I, I invite you fishing, don't I? This will work, big boy, I'll tell you. I've never seen anything like this. It is incredible. It's just you excellent. know, even at some of our other trips were just excellent, but this is phenomenal. And look, got a fish on. 
Here, you bring him in. I don't want to bring in dolphins. You're the dolphin, man. Here. I don't want to even touch a dolphin anymore. That dolphin cost me my marlin. So, so you bring him in. This El Dorado strikes again. That's going to be your... Slowly, slowly. That's going to be your punishment. He's going to bring every dolphin in. Every dolphin. Everyone? We, every dolphin we catch, you will bring in. That is going to be your, right. that's your punishment for the day. I can stand it. Oh. Put, put, put the thing in, in right. Keep slipping out. Oh, no. Rick is helping you. Rick is helping you. You bet. This takes teamwork. I know. I, I, want, I want you. To, Nothing but teamwork. I want when the blue comes up, I want you too tired to fight it. Now. We're gonna catch a big one before this day is over. Oh, we're gonna catch, I mean, we've almost been on a slam. I mean, a sailfish, we each I mean, have... you can't even get all the lines out in your bit. If it's a female, we'll let it go. Yeah. What we're doing down here, too, is we'll let all the female dolphins go, because right now yeah. they are... They're full of row right that's now. That's why they're full of row, and we want to make sure they keep the lamb on the... On the... These waters are just infested with quality fish. I mean, we have a lot of fish out here. Look at him jump! Oh, man! They're fantastic. These are gentle, these are small fish. This is something I have to remember. I have to get used to smaller fish. It'll be a little gentler with them. A little too rough on them, I think. You're too used to those Pacific yeah. sails. Well, these little fish are so acrobatic, though. You know, when they, they open... They just get up and stay up. When they open that sail, they look about the same size as a... You know, yep. you know they're not the same size, but they look bigger than they, they really, really are. They really do. Those fish look 80, 90, 100 pounds when they jump. Get this one out of your way. There you go, thank you. One of the most important things to do is you clear the deck. As soon as one angler has a fish on, all the other anglers, the mate, clears the deck. What that allows is a fish not to run into more than one line. These fish are very acrobatic and they like to jump and run and they'll run back and forth. And if you do, you'll, you'll end up a fish in five different lines. So right away, you clear the deck. This also gives the angler an opportunity to move and use the whole boat. He, has a, he can move from one side to the other, chase the, chase the fish. Another important factor, if you notice, most of these boats have a pad on them. That's used, you, you lean against this pad when you're fishing. This gives you a lot of balance. Even if the boat is rocking and rolling, this allows you to have good balance, good positioning in the fish. It also takes a lot of strain off your back. There he goes, nice fish. Oh, watch him go. Look at him jump, look good at him side. jump. That is a, that acts, acts, it's actually a pretty good sized sailfish. Yes, it is. Look at him go. Man. smaller fish like this, one of the things I was doing wrong is I was playing them too hard. Just take your time, go up and come down gently. They have a softer mouth than some of the Pacific or some of the bigger billfish, and you have a tendency to tear. Okay, he's coming up, coming up. Harvey, you have to have him up focused. He's coming up. He's trying to run. I'm not letting him. He's looking in the back. Oh, good. That makes it a fun fish. He's coming up. Got to jump. All right. Yes. Yes. Look at that. Ah. Something else that's very important when you're fishing, 
you have to keep moving the line so it always goes back on your reel very smooth. When a fish does a run like he just did, he'll take the line out. If it's stacked up in one area, it'll fall and it can break. Very important. Okay, he's right here. Getting him close. It's a pretty nice little fish now. Yeah, he is. He's about six, 50 pounds? Over 50, yeah. It's over 50, which is pretty good for us Atlantic selfish. Nah, right, this fish is going to be fine. He's fine, not bleeding. He just can't can hook. Okay, grab the leader, Pat. That's how you do That's the leader right there. Yeah. Grab the leader and swim him the other way, yeah. The morale came out. The... There you go. There he goes. How about that for a release? Look at him go. All right. That's a wonderful fish, wasn't he? Oh, he's not hurt a bit. He took right off. That was a great fish. You know, the, the thing about it is that you have to remember there are smaller fish in the Atlantic than the Pacific. You play them a lot lighter. Yeah. You did a great job. Wow, what a trip. Be on the lookout in the very near future. We're going back to this Cozumel Channel area to do some bottom fishing. So from beautiful Port Adventurist, I'm Pat Trainer, and we'll see you next week on the American Angler.